Hey, it's Mike with part 3 of Let's Renovate My Dream House. Sorry this video has been delayed for quite some time, I've been pretty busy with school, and uh, this video was recorded back in December, but I had really no time to work on the commentary and get that up on YouTube, so sorry about that, but now I'm actually slightly freer from school. Actually, uh, not really, I have exams next week, so I'm pretty much the least from free, least free from school, um, but in February, uh, that should be pretty much my time of more free time for videos because I'll be getting into the swing of things and getting into uh, semester two of my junior year of high school, so that'll be pretty exciting. Um, but for now, I'm working on the roofing in this episode, part, f part three, and uh, part four should be the last building video of the, um, you know, build building of the uh, walls and everything like that, and part five should be the beginning of uh, landscaping. So that's good. Right now I'm building a curved roof that opposes the one on the right side, basically to just add a further, you know, completed look to this side. And uh, I like how it kind of, when you look at it from the side, you can see that the curved roof is slightly taller than the front entrance, so it kind of adds a more, more of a dimensional look to the house. I like it a lot. Um, right now I'm fixing the, the walls that were there last episode, and I'm kind of making them closer together and fixing up the the, the room um, and there's also a, a little bit of a uh, space in between the two roof roof pieces which uh, obviously was intended um, mainly because of you know constrained floor elevation wouldn't let me connect them but I plan on using that as kind of a garden almost just kind of putting some plants there in the future and now I'm putting in some windows on this part of the house, just a few windows for this episode. Um, next episode is when I really plan to put more windows in and basically just finish off the windows and all of the walls, basically. And part five will be mainly um, landscaping. Maybe I'll also have some wall coverings in that episode as well. And right there I'm using the uh, triangular roof, uh, triangular windows from the Lucky Palms world. Right now I'm working on this connection between the split level second floor and the technically third floor, but it's really the second floor split level piece. And um, it took a little while to get that figured out. It's kind of a weird, a weird way that it connects because of the different, um, the different, you know, angles it has. But I ended up making it work in the end. Now I'm doing some more split leveling, just trying to connect everything together and making it all work. There's so much stuff you can mess up in this part, just trying to get all the different layers to connect. And uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of a curve there when it goes from the entrance to the uh, split level part. Which is okay, it's end up, it ends up being a cool little element when I do the roofing in the end. And now I'm trying to figure out how the stairs are going to work when you come up from the uh, second floor to the split leveled part. And uh, now I'm working on this area. I, I pretty much delete that whole uh, roofing I did last episode just because I do something else with it later on. Uh, now I'm trying to do, uh, I tried to do a, a little turret there but it didn't work out very well, so I, I took it away. And now I'm just adding some more finishing touches in this area um, and trying to make it all look better. And of course that roof has to be fixed a lot in this episode. So much stuff gets messed up and I have to like keep fixing it and messing around with it. And I think it looks pretty good for being my first try at a curved roof. Um, I think it's pretty good how it turned out. Oh, and right now I'm trying to fix, figure out how I'm going to kind of put a roof on top of that, uh, you know, part right next to the uh, kitchen area. And I couldn't really figure that out either. It's kind of really weird how this whole house is laid out. Um, as you can see, the split level connects right on that left side, and I wanted to put you know, some kind of a roof on top of that right there. I try to use a, a platform, which works fine, but I think it looks a little weird. Um, so I really don't know what I'm going to do with that later on. But right now I'm working on the roof on top of this part where the, um, you know, the patio is. And then you have like a little area 
on top of that that's curved and I really like how the roof turned out here I do fix it in part four where I make it more curved like how the rest of the house is and I think it looks better that way so um, this episode does not show that but next episode you'll see that it is curved and basically what I'm doing is instead of just having the flat um, sky you know the flat clear roof like I have there now I end up putting a a couple pieces of wall on top of that and then putting um, another platform above that to basically just you know have a little more of a you know design to it So right now I'm basically trying to add a fence in just to try to, you know, fill in the gap. Um, I don't really know if it works though. I might try it again next time. I don't think I keep a fence in here in the end, but I do try, you know, some of the hollower fences and try to figure out if um, any of them make it look better or not. Um, and I think I actually keep that in there for now, but I might delete it later on. And uh, right about now is a lot of just flattening out things and trying to make everything um, try to prepare everything for the roofing that goes on a little bit later on. And again, fixing that curved roof again, a big pain. Uh, it really does, you know, impede a lot of stuff. So right now I'm, I'm basically just working on this section again. Um, I did change this up a lot. Um, I did do that in part two and now I'm pretty much deleting the whole thing and making it fit more with that roof we just did. And I think it does connect pretty well. Um, basically, it has a little more of a curve at the end. It doesn't fit perfectly well, but I think it's fine uh, the way it looks in the end. And I do actually, I like how, how that looks right there where it uh, curves down and it continues past that section so I think it looks pretty good. It covers a little bit more of the roof and uh, looks pretty good too. And there I actually uh, completely destroy that roof we just did <laughs> in hopes of making it look good. Um, and in the end it does look pretty good, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I like it a lot. Uh, I did spend way too much time on it though, it took me so long just to work on a roof, uh, but I think it looks good, I think it looks pretty good. So that roof right now is pretty much done, and then next up we're going to get the puzzle roof done, which is basically just um, a roof with a platform on top with different spaces that are open up for uh, skylights to go in. And it looks really good actually, I, I'm really happy with it in the end. But we are actually pretty close to the end of this video, so I want to say thank you for watching part 3 of Let's Renovate My Dream House. I expect part 4 to be up sometime next week, or maybe the week after. I'm enduring, I'm having exams next week, so that will be pretty hard to get through. But for now, please tell me any suggestions you may have for this house, if I should add some more rooms, or if I should just keep it the way it is. And um, thanks for watching this video once again, and I will see you next time.